Here we are at the washout sink where we'll do the first part of the preparation process. That's degreasing the screen. Now as we explained earlier, it's very important to get all the contaminants off the screen mesh and the frame itself before we coat it with emulsion. To do this, we're going to be using Neutralize Screen Printing Degreaser. Now, Neutralize can be either used concentrated form or can be watered down up to three to one parts with water. Right now, for ease of use, we're just going to use it in concentrated form, which means we have to use less of it. And it makes it very easy because all we have to do is plug in a spray nozzle right directly into the cap. The next thing you do is you get your screen wet. Now, during screen printing degreasing, you don't want to use a pressure washer. If you use a pressure washer, sometimes your pressure washer nozzle has small amounts of oil in it, which can actually contaminate the frame. The other thing to keep in mind is if you have a very dirty washout sink, water can splash off the dirty sides of the sink and back onto your frame. So it's very important to keep your washout sink clean. A great way to keep it clean is to actually use Liquid Renew It, which cleans off the edges of your washout sink. But if you keep your washout screen sprayed down after every use, you shouldn't have much of a problem keeping it clean. The first thing we're going to do to the frame is we're going to get it wet. Now, you can get it wet on both sides, but really you only need to get it wet on one side. Quickly get it wet like that. Then we'll take our degreaser brush and spray a small amount of degreaser onto the screen mesh. We'll get this primed up here. So a small amount is just a couple squirts. Then we'll agitate the degreaser to work it into the mesh. You should see it foam slightly. Next we'll do the back of the screen and just run our brush across the frame. That'll take all the degrease off the screen and the frame. Now when you're done with your degreaser brush, you want to store it in a separate area so you don't put it in the dirty part of the washout sink. Either have somewhere above or somewhere below your sink or to the side of the sink where you can store it in a clean area. We'll just put it right up there for now. It's important to get the frame too because if you don't degrease the frame, dirty grease from the frame can wash down into your mesh area. It's also important to keep your screen up out of the water on the bottom so dirty water doesn't splash back up into your screen mesh. We'll start rinsing the frame now. Start at the top and then just rinse down, making sure all the degreaser rinses off of the frame. It's important to ensure that all the degreaser gets out of the mesh because degreaser can also act as a barrier between your emulsion if you don't properly clean it all out of the frame. So do the inside, and then we'll do the outside and the top. And that's really it. That's all you have to do. Degreasing is really quick and easy, but it is a very important part. Now the other thing you don't want to do is when you're handling the frame, you want to make sure that your hands are clean. So quickly rinse off your hands. That ensures there's no soap that can drip down into your mesh once the screen's been degreased. Now that the screen's degreased, we need to let it dry. You obviously can't coat a wet screen with emulsion because you have water drips all over it. A couple ways you can do this. One way is air pressure. This would be if you have a really, really nice dedicated dark room. You could blow it out with some air like that. Now if you're using air pressure, you do want to make sure that you're using an airline that has a chiller on it and a couple of water traps in it. Because if you're using dirty water in your air compressor and spraying it into the mesh, that doesn't help at all. This would be for a really high-end dedicated dark room. It would be air because that would blow out the screen and make it really fast to dry. What we're going to do is just we're going to store the screen in a clean area in front of the fan in order to dry it off. Now when you're drying your screens, be very you know, conscious that your area that you're drying the screen in is, is clean because if we just took that time to degrease the screen and then we put it sitting in front of a fan in a dirty garage, you're going to be blowing all sorts of stuff back into the frame mesh. That's not what you want to do. So a screen drying rack in another part of your dark room or in a drying area is optimal for drying these screens. We'll just slip it into the drying rack, we'll dry it face down, and then turn the fan on. The fan will blow clean air across the frame and dry it off. 
To dry a screen faster, if you need to do it in a quick amount of time, you can also use a hair dryer, or you can set the screen facing up against the fan as long as you're in a clean environment. If you're doing a lot of screens though, it is really nice to have a nice drying rack.